Howdy y'all, Jackson here with Ick Jerk Studios, and today I'm bringing you a new series where I look at a football player who is either great in college or uh, historically relevant in some way or another, and see how the career panned out, or is currently panning out. And of course, I'm starting off with probably one of the most famous examples, the thinking fan's choice for the 1985 Heisman Trophy. No, not Auburn's Bo Jackson, or Iowa's Chuck Long, but Division Three Plymouth State's Joe Dudek. Joe who? Joe Dudek. A small school back who put up big time stats, breaking Walter Payton's record for most career touchdowns in his senior season. Dudek started his football career late, only playing his junior and senior years at North Quincy High School, playing exclusively soccer before that. He would only be the feature back during his senior year, where he rushed in the 970 yard range. Now that drew some interest from Maine and Boston University, but not enough to garner a scholarship. So instead he opted to enroll at Plymouth State University in Plymouth, New Hampshire where several of his former classmates had seen some success. In his freshman season, he found himself in a six-man fight for reps, but knew that upperclassman Dwayne Anderson was the guy. But during a preseason scrimmage against the University of Lowell, Dudek found himself in the right place at the right time, as Anderson would wound up being injured, and Dudek would find himself right next to the coach, whom he asked if he wanted him to go in and in release. And he was granted the opportunity, and he never looked back, taking his first attempt 60 yards for a score. Interestingly, prior to his first game of the season, Dudek had to call and inform his brothers that he'd be unable to attend his wedding, as he would be starting that Saturday. And that was a good thing too, as Dudek's first career game would be a preview of what would come in his career, as he would score four touchdowns en route to a 53-14 victory over Norwich University. And don't worry, he was able to drive up to the reception after the game. But unlike the Heisman Trophy candidates he would one day be up against, he drove up in a junker a junker that he would eventually put 100,000 miles on, as well as requiring him to take his spring semester off of his sophomore year, driving a truck for Blue Class Blue Shield. Additionally, as a Division III athlete, he had no scholarship, and had to take out a $2,500 loan every year to pay for his schooling. And to help pay that off, he had to take odd jobs, including cleaning up the stadium on Sunday, after he had filled it up on Saturday. During his freshman season, Dudek would go on to score 17 touchdowns, and went for 1,094 yards while helping guide the Panthers to a 10-0 record. In his sophomore season, he would have another solid season, including 16 total touchdowns and 1,483 rushing yards on route to a 9-2 record. Things would continue trending upwards, as in his junior season, Dudek would lead the Panthers to yet another 10-0 record, while racking up 1,378 yards on the ground and 21 touchdowns. During his senior season was when the attention really began to come. More specifically, on October 26, 1985, when during a 5-touchdown 35-15 victory over Bridgewater State, Dudek scored his 67th career touchdown, surpassing the great Walter Payton's NCAA record of 66. Dudek would finish the season with 25 touchdowns, which compiled into a then-NCAA record of 79 career touchdowns, even surpassing the NAIA record of 77. Along with the career touchdown record, Dudek also set the Division III career points record with 474. 150 coming in 1985 alone. The Division III career rushing yards record was 5,570, with 1,615 coming in 1985, and also the Division III yards per attempt career record of 7.1, a record that still stands today. It would be a culmination of these accomplishments that landed Dudek on the cover of the December 2nd, 1985 Sports Illustrated where they endorsed Dudek for the 1985 Heisman Trophy over eventual winner Bo Jackson and runner-up Chuck Long, with the accompanying article, What the Heck, Why Not Dudek? The endorsement wouldn't quite work, but would help propel him into a ninth place finish, an unprecedented finish for a non-Division I player, including receiving 12 first place votes. Dudek would go undrafted in the 1985 NFL Draft, but would spend several seasons signed on and off the Denver Broncos roster eventually leading to two starts during the player strike of 1987, both wins, where he rushed for 154 yards and two touchdowns. His number, 22, would be retired in a ceremony at Plymouth State on October 14, 1989, and he would be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame as a member of the class of 1997. Dudek now serves as the VP of the Northern New England Division of Southern Wine and Spirits, and passed down his athletic genes to his two children, J.D., a pick in the 2014 NHL Draft, who will be playing his senior season of ice hockey at Boston College this upcoming season, and his daughter Taylor, who is committed to the University of New Hampshire to play lacrosse. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or a subscription. 
and perhaps watch some of my other content. Bye. It wasn't supposed to happen to a guy like me. You know, I, you know, I was just hoping to make the team. I was just hoping to play a little football. I was hoping to get an education. Never in my wildest dreams would I think that I'd, I'd, I'd be, my name would be mentioned with, with, with the greats like, like Walter Payton and Terry Bradshaw and all the rest that are there.